recording. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. No, you're not. I am too. Blueberry muffin. I'm going to drink. He's not over here. But we'll start with him in the chapel. In the chapel. Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So going into the new year, we all are planning for the future, right? Why did you just do that? that sh we heard that on camera. That do do do. I plug my phone. I know. So. That's in the chapel. Mm -hmm. We are planning for the future, correct? Mm -hmm. But that's for another video. Today we're discussing our regular podcast, right? We are. Yep. Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm late. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. <laughs> Why are we late? Because we're also day late. Why? We're day late and dollars. Why? Because we've been gone. Mm hmm. Where have we been? This little town called Wamego. 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 Kansas. Wamego. We say Wamego. They say Wamego. <laughs> Wamego. Wamego. It sounds like something that should be in Mexico. Wamego. <laughs> Wamego. <laughs> Wamego. Wamego. Anyway, so it's over. It's what? Just west of Topeka? Yep. About 30 miles. 20 miles. 30 miles. Mm -hmm. Right up to 99. We go every year. Right? Wamigo. And what were we doing there? Amigo. We went to Wamigo. To do what? To participate in the Fiber Festival. Carl, why are you on my foot? Hey, that's not me shaking the table. I just Carl. I know. Alright. So, let's start with in the barn stalls. Anything happen? These two heathens are out of control. We got their callers in yesterday. We got their callers in yesterday, and they are responding very well to them. Um, you don't have to full Monty them. You just have to get their attention. It helps break their concentration. And yep. Correct? Yeah. The um, first time we did talk, he jumped like this high. Yeah, when and we were I, standing up. Mm -hmm. it, like, yeah. Like, wow. That's a full three. So, yeah. Um, they haven't that worked. They, they still tend to want to go after the chickens, but once you, they're like, oh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> Um, we are having one little issue, and that is their feces there, big boy. I didn't like. <laughs> it just um, they're wanting to chew on them, and so we don't put them on them and leave them on. We just put them on when we're training. So we're hoping that they realize that when they don't have them on, they have to follow the same rules. So, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Candy. Candy? <laughs> Probably. Anyway. Alright. So, those two are going on. They haven't gotten any more chickens. They've gone after chickens. They haven't caught any, right? Right. So, we're still addressing that. Um, anything else? Longhorn, let's address him. I've got to go and get his medicine Wednesday, mm -hmm. right? And he's got, what, a, I guess a knot yep. on his chin. Yep. yep. And we've got some medicine that we're going to give it. And we're just going to pray that it takes care of it and be done. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Coop, how's she doing? Good. Oh, and we had whiskey. Had the chiropractor. And last week she was on rest. Last podcast she was still on rest, right? Mm -hmm. How's she doing now? Good. I read her today. And? She feels good. She's bad and good, so that's good. Yep. Is she stove up anymore? No. So, whatever the... You just bite it. You don't try to break it. Just bite Ooh, it down. It was in my freezer. So like, oh, it's froze. So you bite it. You go, oh. hold it. <laughs> well, so why that. did you... Why did you put it in the freezer? I did, and I just haven't turned my fridge down for the winter. <laughs> so it is a mini freezer, not a mini fridge. Have um, some heat in there, so 
every winter you turn the, the refrigerators down, or they turn into freezers, and... <laughs> Like, so anyway, okay. <laughs> I didn't realize that you hadn't turned it in. I'm sorry. No, I didn't even bother. I'll think about it about spring time. Yep. Okay. <sighs> Moving on. <laughs> Anything else we have going on? Um, Longhorn will get his shot Wednesday. Um, the dogs have their issues. They're getting trained. Layton, I've got to um, tie her in, don't I? I have to tie her to brick like we trained Holly. We need to train Layton because Layton is like a little deer. She just jumps everything. So um, when it's not so muddy, she'll be bricked in. I'll use a cinder block and tie her off with a long tie. And that's how we work. We started to, and then it started raining and getting cold, and we, she has to be able to go to get... Um, Shelter and stuff. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. All right. Yep. All right. Anything else in the barn stalls? Many, many fences. Did you fix any? We didn't. We just haven't had time. There's still some feeders and some fence that have got to be fixed this winter. What and fence? the garden fence. Did you happen to tie the garden shut so they'll quit coming and going today, please? No, I don't know. There's nothing growing out there, but I don't want them in there. They just hop out on the road and walk down the walk in. I know. But still. I need to wire that shut, is what I'm saying. Okay. Alright, anything else? Mending fences. Your truck. Your truck is... My truck's been fixed. What's wrong with my truck? I thought you were taking it Wednesday to... Oh, yeah, we do have to talk about that, huh? All right, so we left here, and we went to Wamego, and it's how far away? Four hours? It's Wamego! And then, yes, it's four. It's about four hours away, about, what, two hours into the trip? Yep. I went to pass somebody, and when the truck hit 2,000 RPM, it quit, like, cut out, um, just died. Uh, my mechanic was already teasing me, saying, he asked me who was driving, and I said, well, it's me. And he said, well, maybe it's just a woman driver thing. So anyway, I, RJ called him on the way up there. He said it could have a safety feature because we thought it was either at 65 miles an hour or um, 2,000 RPM. And he said, check the safety features, and then when you get home, if it's still doing it, bring it by, and we'll see if there's any codes running in the background. Well, I called Mike today um, on my way home from work, and I said, yeah, it still did it on the way home. He teased me and said, you know, who was driving? I said, me, and he said, maybe it's a woman thing, and I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> so, Wednesday, uh, after I get off work, I'm going to stop, swing by the vet, and then take the truck in and see if there's any codes running in the background that will make it shut down at 2,000 RPM. Correct? Mm -hmm. Because if not, Mike and I have to go drive for two hours to get it hot enough to not do it. Correct. To do it. Right? So that it'll do it to him. <laughs> yeah. So, could be fun, huh? I should just let him drive it for a while. I'd never get that truck back. Well, if he's got a nicer truck, we just trade. Oh, I could. He's got a Ford 350. Yeah, just trade him. Just trade him for like a week. Ooh, I wonder if he would. Anyway, so, he probably won't. <laughs> I mean, he's crazy for like a week to fix it, and then, done. Ah, right, when you fix it, bring it back. Yep. Um, anyway, so, he's going to look at that and see what's going on. Um, we've got to get an oil change now we've done the trip, and fuel filter change, correct? Yep. So, other than that, anything else? Nope. Okay, so, and your truck is still... Having the bed put on it. Yep. It takes time, folks. Well, it's a line of shop. Maybe. Yeah. So. We finally got it up to the shop, and when they had time, we couldn't get it there because it was broke down. And now that we have it up there, they have other things going on. So it's just timing. All right. In the yarn farm. We went to Wamego. I don't like this one. I know. That's why I just wondered. Don't. I don't like marshmallow and chocolate. Stop. You make me sick at my stomach. 
These are awesome. They do not they're make people gross. sick. They're gross. They're marshmallow covered chocolate. See, look, marshmallow chocolate. They're gross. They are not. Mm, anyway. You don't even like so, peeps. I That's don't. un-American. <laughs> I don't like either. Anyway. The only way you like your marshmallows are burnt. Or in hot chocolate. <laughs> and I actually don't like marshmallows. I like marshmallow cream. So. Alright. In the yarn farm, we went to Omega. I taught... Well, Oh no, I flicked it and it stopped and I was just getting crumbs off. <laughs> That's what you get for button. flicking it. <laughs> anyway, okay, where was I at? Wamego, Kansas, right? Wamego. Anyway, um, I taught a class that people were pretty shocked to see me teach, huh? Well, I mean, you teach her every year. I know, but this one certain class, what did I tell them to do? I don't know, I didn't really listen out everything they saw on YouTube. <laughs> so, um, at this festival, we saw Roll Wolf. We're one of, what, there's one other farmer who has um, product that's from her sheep and goats that she had to downsize, that Wabash, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then there's like two alpaca people there that actually have their own fiber and own the animals. And then other than that, that's it, correct? They're all indie dyers, um, which simply means they buy from mills and then they dye it. They don't own any animals. There's one lady there who has, she doesn't have anything to do with fiber. She just sells it. It's her. She's got a following, but she doesn't even know how to dye yarn. She has people that do it for her, and then she buys it from them and then turns around and sells it to others. So, um, yeah. It, she's kind of like a she buys wholesale from resale indie, shop. yeah she's like a resale shop for indie tires and that's all she does she's got certain ones that do certain things and um, but she goes to the indie dyers and they dye for her and then she sells her stuff and anyway um, so we're one of the few farmers that are actually there correct that own their own sheep take care of them shear our own of the people that are there we're the only ones that shear our own correct so oh i saw that nope oh did yes they did comment if you saw the homestead again the last server please it was a white one see she admitted it she's a terrible liar she stole half a one just that though okay they're broke lifesavers do you see that but still they eat the same they're broke. Anyway, um, so my first class was at 10.30, and my classes fill up within 10 minutes of opening. I've never had one go more than 10 minutes after the books open. Um, I have limited class space. I limit it to small classes. Um, I make sure that the classes get a wealth of knowledge. Uh, a lot of stuff correct so this year I taught a class that others weren't real happy that I could taught and I really I don't care been at this long enough to know that I'm right and I don't care right uh, one of the things that you'll see on YouTube and I'm actually going to put out a video about this the easiest way to process a wool fleece and simply put, you don't have to do all the stuff that's on YouTube. Um, matter of fact, I didn't even have them washing it. I had one little girl, when they come into the class, I, I started and just told them, I said, I need you to hear me, hear me with an open heart and hear me with an open mind and throw out everything you've seen on YouTube. And I said, and that includes my channel because I do show them how to small batch wash or how I do it on some of our videos and I've never really addressed um, the whole different ways to process wool. Um, everybody's seen my tumbler, you know I built a drying rack, 
Um, we have the tumbler hooked up to the bicycle. We have a picker. Um, I've got a drum carter. But no one's actually seen me do the Shetlands, have they? No. Um, so anyway, I grabbed a handful of fleece out of one of our, it was Snow's fleece, correct? The white Shetland. And there was a young lady there and we were going through the process and I said, you don't need this, you don't need this. And I took them on my journey about how I started with cat brushes and a drop spindle that I got, you know, and um, CD drop spindles and starting out cheap and how I progressed and how we have the one comb from RJ showing that does their legs. It makes a good carver. Um, and just kind of progressed through and tell them how I did before I got all the toys. I told them where to find these things, how much they cost. Um, the whole works, correct? And I had one little girl sit there and she said, well, I have to differ with you there. She said, because I hand card mine because it takes out more of the vegetable matter out of the fleece. And I said, oh, really? And I said, good point. And so I grabbed my hand carders and I hand carded a little bit. And what people fail to see is that, yeah, you're hand carding and it separates that dirt, but that dirt goes down to the bottom of the brush that you have in this hand. So when you flip it over and you're doing it the other way, guess what? That dirt just goes down. It's still in the fleece. It's not going anywhere. You're not doing anything. And uh, so I hand carded some and I handed it to her and I said, okay, so do you see this? And I said, feel free to pass that around and take a look at it. And I said, now. And I grabbed a lock and I started doing it my way. And uh, I pulled it out. It took less time. I do, 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 do. And I said, okay, now. And she looks at the two. And she just goes like this. And she goes, point taken. She says, I don't know why you had to show me that. She says, I feel like an idiot. And I said, don't. I said, everyone. Uh, I said, people tell me to drum card because it helps take the vegetation out. I said, it does to a point. I said, but it's nothing your fingers can't do. I said, I want you to look back. And the whole premise of the class was look back at how Shepard actually processed a fleece. He didn't have any of that stuff. He didn't have the picker. He didn't have the tumbler. He didn't have the anything. And we even talked about how um, fleece with, um, and as a shepherd, we talk about this, um, fleeces with a break in them, correct? So um, when a sheep gets sick, it creates a fiber break. Yes, it creates a weak spot. My point to them was, if you're pulling on it, and it creates a fiber break, it's going to break there, so you end up with a shorter staple. And even if by chance it's just weak and it doesn't break there, by the time you do a two-ply, the chances of getting two weak spots in the same, in the two-ply, plied together, like this ply has a weak spot and this ply has a weak spot, and they have to come together exactly, create a weak spot in the yarn, is that going to make a difference? Now, Yes, it is if you're selling product, but remember, I'm teaching people how to home process for their own use. I said, you're going to just keep crocheting and knitting with that thing, and I said, I can make something with a weak fleece, and I can make something with a good fleece, and the people in that class wouldn't have known the difference. Um, that's my notification. Um, those people wouldn't have known the difference, and that was my point. I said, if you're not a professional, you don't have to have the best of the best fleece. You just have to know your staple length. We had some that were set up. Carl, will you quit kicking my foot? Um, you have to just know. Uh, she had some South Down baby doll. And she said the staple was too short to go to the mill. Blah, blah, blah. It can't be spun. I was like, uh, yeah, it can. And we talked about how I've spun chinchilla, possum, wolf, cat, dog. I said, if it is fleece or fiber, you can spin. I said, you can spin your own hair if you want. And they just laughed at me. And I said, I'm serious. So... We had a lot of fun with that class, but the problem was, it was a one hour class, right? Mm -hmm. How long were people still there? Uh, about an hour and a half. Until I said I need to go get ready from, I need to get something to eat and get ready for my next class, correct? Yeah. So people didn't want to leave, um, which is good, I love it. I love that they're willing to learn, I'm, I love that they're willing to um, throw the book out and actually learn the properties of a fleece. and. And uh, we actually talked about the cutie fiber. We had a lady come up at 10 o'clock, booth open. She was there. She knew which ones she wanted. 
I have to have this and this. And, and then during the class, they realized there's only six of these fleeces. And I said, so, you know, if you guys are here for those, you need to get them now because he's already sold. You'd already sold, like, two when we opened the doors. Like, when the doors opened to the Fiber Festival, there was a lady that she didn't sign up for classes. She came straight up to our booth. She wanted those fleeces. And it was funny because what did people figure out, son? Why is there only six? Or now there's nine, okay, but why is there only six that we sell? There's only six in the world. We're why? The only place to have. Explain to this is what people are like. What do you mean? There's six in the world and you only have it. Why? Mom designed them. That's right. They're my designer sheep. I will give you anyone the formula for my designer sheep, but then you have to create your own. Are the fleeces on yours going to be exactly as mine? No, because I evaluate my fleece and put on whatever ram I need according to what characteristics I need and what quality of use I started with. I know he was kicking me earlier. So oh, I started with Cotswold. Carl's got my foot, folks. He's got it. <laughs> and then I ran I got it a now I got his. Um, South Down, an old English South Down baby doll. And I had one lady say, you did what? And it's the truth. You're not supposed to run a long wool with a South Down or with a downy wool. I did. Just saying. I did. Um... So, will you stop, Carl? Okay, son, it's yeah, just get out of hand. I know. We're going to stay as long as we can. Carl's right there. Carl's Wilbur's right now. there. And Moose is being like, ah! Wilbur, don't hit him. <laughs> don't hit him. He just the Whacked paw. him in the <laughs> head. Popped him in the head. <laughs> um, anyway, so I started with Cotswold, and I ran a South Down Ram, an old South Down Baby Doll Ram on him. Then the next year, I switched and put Lester, which is a different South Down Baby Doll Ram on him, correct? He just laid down. He was stood up looking through and he's like, ah, me? No. I laid down. So, the first year, it was a 50-50 Cotswold South Down. Second year, it was a fourth Cotswold, three-fourth South Down. The next year, we ran a got one. <laughs> so... Half got one. It's half got one. One, no, two. Eighth. Yeah, one eighth cots wool. And three eighths south. Yeah. I think. Uh, so. I know. I just did it. <laughs> I just said it. Um, you're welcome to make them. I don't sell them. Uh, they're my, they're my, they're my flock. Um, we just um we designed them and I want to keep them. Correct. We just decided that we were gonna sell them. They fleece. look like miniature Cotswold. I will sell the fleece. And I am this year looking to take it back down. I have nine of them, correct? And I'm looking to take it back down to six. Which means there will be three at for sale. Which three? I'm having a tough time deciding. Yep. So, um, it probably will be Biscotti, Meringue, and Sally, just because they're the oldest, correct? Correct? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so, it is what it is. Auto. It is what it is, right? Right. So we did that class, and then I taught Tunisian in the round. I had two different kinds of, had one lady who had her own Tunisian. She had working knowledge of Tunisian. Hers was easy to teach. And then I um, taught it with a double ended crochet hook because we're all about keeping it affordable. And the people that wanted to try the class needed something affordable. So I sold them just a double ended hook and taught them how to do it that way. Um, that class, it didn't run over as much. Um, one of the things I will say, and, and I know I probably shouldn't say this. Hey, 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 Wilbur, Wilbur. You Wilbur. Heard something. I know. That's it. All right. All right. See? So, something's going on. We'll be back.
Okay. Okay, we're back. Okay, I'm back. He's putting the dogs out. There was somebody here. It was cold. And three goats were out. Layton, Holly, and Sweetie. They're back in now. Cut off. Um, we shut the gate so that they can't get over that side now. Anyway, I don't even remember where we were at. Um, well, Miko, the second class went good. And I do start my classes. This is what I think I was getting ready to tell you. I always start my classes with, it does not hurt my feelings if you get up and walk out. This class is about learning. It's not going to be for everyone. It is not going to be um, to everyone's liking. It's not going to be something they want to do. Yes, you want to learn and do the basics. And yes, I want to teach you that. But if you get too frustrated and you don't think, stop. If you get too frustrated and you don't think this is something you're going to ever pursue, leave the class. It, it's okay. You can give up. Now, I hope that you give, you don't give up until you actually get to the part where I'm teaching you. And they just kind of laugh, you know, and go on. But um, I hope that they don't get up and go up because they just can't deal with the teacher. <laughs> but anyway, uh, but I pretty much tell them that, you know, uh, just... I don't think we're supposed to be seen yet. Oh, we're talking about Juanigo. That's where you got it. Okay. But... Moose, there's nobody here. You're a little late. So, anyway, I do teach that, and I did Tunisian in the round. Um, and I've got to get my videos up. I make every one of my classes, after I introduce the class, I make very bare-boned videos on how to do it. And it's just my hands, and you hear me talking. So I have those that I'm going to put up in the round on our webpage, and that's for the people that took my class so they can see up close. Uh, I will say that every person in the class got personal attention. I made sure that they grasped the concept long before they left the class, correct? One lady had a hearing impediment, and she um, said she was going to wait for the video. She was going to go home and watch some YouTube channels now that she had seen it and kind of done it. But as I teach, the people out in the other area got louder. So I had to try and talk over them and then they would try to talk over me. And then, so it was a problem for her. And so I think that's the only person that was a little bit disappointed, correct? And she told me it wasn't me. She says, it's not you. She says, it's the hearing thing. So um, it was okay. And there's three or four that actually got it, loved it, and were rocking it, right? So, um, anyway. I'm going to collect the hair. Well, stop. I have my tweezers. I want to be like the people okay, on TV. Okay, so, stop. Those hairs are still connected and I'm not dead. Oh, let's see. What? I'm going to pull a nose hair. Oh, I can do that. I can pull a no, nose hair. No, your to... nose hair. Oh. Oh, he's gonna make his I don't eyes have any hairs. <laughs> You're full of it. <laughs> he's gonna make his nose water. You know his eyes is gonna be water. Okay. Just so. like a faucet. Run <laughs> in. So anyway, we had a lot of fun at Omega, right? Okay. So I didn't do anything, any shopping except for one thing that you'll learn about here later. Oh. Golly. I had it up already. Later. See? Stop it. Uh, so. I did some shopping with me go. Come on, marshmallow. You did. Chocolate got my marshmallow. Um, okay, so anything. Oh, tell them about you being asked the little lady. What she asked about my energy. Oh, yes. Oh, hey, I collected a hair. I can't get my tweezers. Dang it. How do people do this on TV? They're trained. Okay, I have okay so I was yeah, in a I'm class, right? And you guys can't even see it on film. Nope. It's like huge, it's like this long, all right? Only a fit in the camera. If, uh, oh, yeah. hold on. I had a lady ask me. There, oh, you can kind of sort of see. It looks like something cracked our camera screen. It's right over here. Part of it is, and part of it's over here. It's over here. It's over here. Okay. All right. I'm she dropping. asked me if mom's teaching her class. Mom's all energetic. And I'm, like, I'm being on TV. I'm being I mean, they're the only the preachers on TV screaming and yelling. I mean, she's I a going. I am go not. She's a going 900 I'm miles not. an hour. 
She's going 900 miles an hour. I mean, just to go in that house. I was in the fiber time. one, and people were asking me, and I was meeting challenges. Correct? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Whatever you want to call it. She's okay. running around having a good old time. She's doing great. People are loving her. She's loving it. We're going 90 down the freeway. Boom, boom. Full straight ahead. And this little lady walks up in and goes, uh, Are you related to her? I said, Yes, that's my mom. What'd she do? <laughs> she goes, Is she full of energy like that all the time? I said, Well, yes, pretty much. Except for when she sleeps. <laughs> the lady goes, Well, at least she has an off button. <laughs> walks away. That was the whole conversation. Couldn't sell her anything either. I mean, she was nope. just wondering. She just wanted to know if I have that uh -huh. much energy. And then I was asked several times how old I was. Oh, can I tell you how old you are? She's old as a hill. Don't tell you how old I am. She is over because, the hill. Well, here's the thing: is I have that that birthday giveaway thing that I'm oh, gonna yeah. do, you know, and that that, and so they have to get. She's over the hill, folks. No, I'm not. Go as old as you think she is. Add no, twenty years, and you'll be good. No. So if you think she's thirty, you better guess about seventy, just in case. I'm <sighs> off. But I don't think she's quite 70. I think she's closer to 65. She should be able to retire any day now. <laughs> anyway, and so if, if you think people were she guessing looks, at how old I she was. She looks 40. Yes, about 80. Okay, that should be right. Will you stop giving any kind of anything because that's what this is. So stop it. Oh, okay. Well, here, let me write down no. how old she is. Stop it! She's telling people she's on her 27th birthday, like her 30th anniversary of it. I have not hit my 30th anniversary of it. But you look like it. <laughs> Anybody want a child? <laughs> a mean child. Only about age. And only when I get on a roll. Okay, I'm pretty sweet. And okay, so there. the question of my age did come up. And it's old. At Lamigo. I mean, and no three. one hit it. Nobody could figure out how old I was. Um, I ended up having to tell them. So if you're one of those that actually know, here in a little bit, you're going to find out how to get what I've got. So look, I'm a raccoon. Ow. <laughs> okay, so. I have a beard. All right, can we finish this? I'm like Santa Claus. Come on, we've got like three segments already that this thing has broke up. So let's get this done. I'm ready for round four. Let's start it. No. Stop. I want to hit round four. Uh, no. No, no, no. Come on. Four times the money. Okay, so that was when we go Kansas. There's nothing going on in the hay in the fields because it's We've winter. It's winter. It's My winter gourds are just laying out there. Everything's frosted. Okay. Um, we've been getting a lot of rain. That's it. All right. In the farmhouse, what is coming up that we're going to have a drawing for? Mom's birthday. That's right. Oh, just so you know, she's 102. I am not. Don't tell. I did. I gave Dang. it away. I already gave it away once. I can't Stop give it away again. Stop it. Okay, so while we were at Wormago, I found... Is 85. It's not. I found a lady that wrote this cute little book, okay? Now, if you don't pictures. have children... It has pictures. Wait, there's more to it than just this book, and if you don't have children, you still may want to uh, see about getting this for grandchildren and nieces you can read it to them and it's just like you little lamb and not only it is autographed it is autographed okay by the author and we didn't get a stranger home hobo to go autograph no, it, it says it's the enjoy your little lamb from the straw family farm she knows we're doing this as a giveaway okay mm -hmm. so here's this but everyone wants in on this she is also an indie guy melissa is a really sweet young lady she her husband makes antler um what is it buttons and wooden buttons that's and... how you're supposed to eat a snickers bar folks anyway but in the back of this cute little book which it, it's real it's a simple read to younger ones it has pictures it does it has awesome she drew all the art herself um she's an artist i'm gonna see about sending her a picture of our big Angora Buck and see if she can do it. But she hand drew all the artwork that's in here. She wrote it. She's the whole amazing. thing. She is. She's super amazing. But guess what's in the back of the book? Let's see if I can find a picture. And I'm not going to even show you the instructions. But 
in the back of this book is the instructions for little lamb himself so she has the instructions or i guess a pattern to give away i was looking for a bigger picture here it is okay of little lamb that goes with this book that is autographed to be given away by the straw family farm on my birthday or actually the weekend after my birthday is when we're going to do the drawing all you have to do is comment below and see how old am i and if you guess under that's brown you have to get it perfect and if there's more than one that guess exactly how old i am we will do a drawing of the perfect answers you also have to have subscribed. We're not so giving away. you can like five years old get brownie points, folks. Yeah. Well, you can. I'd love you forever, but I'm not five. Um, so, uh, you have to um, subscribe. And do they have to like our Facebook page, too? Or just subscribe to the YouTube channel? You just have to be a subscriber here because this, are we going to put it on Facebook, too? Where can they enter? Just on YouTube? Right here, right now. So I'm in the way. Well, because it's open for like four weeks, three right. weeks. Um, we'll do it on Facebook too, but you have to comment in the YouTube link. So what, you have to subscribe. What if we have a follower that's like at the FBI and they can take a picture of you and tell exactly how old you are? Well, then I guess they'll guess exactly right. And if they guess exactly right, then they win the book. And if Unless there's others, more than one. Th that's right, because all of those names that get it exactly right, your random drawing. Spoiler alert, folks. She's old. I'm older than dirt. Well, not until your birthday. Then you're officially older. Than dirt. That's right. I'm older than dirt on my birthday. So until then, you're just the record, as old as dirt. It's February 6th, so it'll be. That's on a Wednesday. Um. So. So right now, she's just as old as dirt when she. It's a birthday should be older than dirt. Yes. So, um, I Which believe really, it's that really weekend. Right what day are we going to cut it up on that Friday or on my birthday and then we just announce it? Yeah, we'll cut it up on your birthday. Okay. So, Wednesday midnight. Unless done. somebody gets on social media and finds you and hunts you up. Okay. I'm going to say this really lovingly. I won't be awake Wednesday night at midnight. So, Thursday morning when I get up is when it will cut off. Hey, yeah. can people Google you and find out how old you are? I don't know. Well, I'd suggest you guys try. Because you're not going to guess it. Go by how old I look. But then, okay, yeah, do that. And then I can keep the book. Because nobody's ever going to guess it. She's 80. I am not. 81. You're a half. brat. Anyway. Actually, it's almost three quarters. Almost a full quarter to the river. So it's like 81 and 9 tenths. We'll pay 71 and 9 tenths. Is that better? That's what 10 years off the year. Look at that. And you didn't even age a bit. Are you done? Not yet. I'll never be done. I know. He's going to tease me forever. I'm going to so, start getting you cups and cards that say, Happy birthday, Mom! I will give one hint. He's 21. So you can't say I'm 20. What if they found 18? <laughs> <laughs> We need some, it's whatever they're smoking, because it must be good. <laughs> it must make life look amazing. So, well, all right. kind of the loony bin? One of the two. Don't forget, it's got a free pattern. And, I don't know how much it takes. I'm going to look and see how many yards it takes. And it says a certain kind, and it's a worsted weight, like, it doesn't say yardage, though. It just says one ball. One ball, scraps. It has that number. That's the number. It's Cascade 220 Heather's worsted weight. It's we'll that's a number. I'll that, tell that's you how a, much yardage is in that skein. But it doesn't say if it uses the whole. Anyway, we will include um, a skein of yarn with this. We will. Yes, we will. Well, yes, Hand we will. spun by me. Now, how many yards that will be? I don't know. I have a couple of bats that are. See, now can make a little bit short bat, a little bit short yard uh, skein. I'm actually of like just going to yards spin. Like, Here you go, folks. Here's your little. I'm just going to do the white. I'm going to spin the white. It'll be done in the grease, the same way that we processed in the class, and then um, it will come with this. So, for my birthday, enter 
with how old you think I am based on my looks. She's older than dirt. Don't listen to him. 65. <laughs> Minus a few. I mean, I might be. And apparently, don't base it on my energy either. <laughs> you just got the energy of a toddler. She's good and going, 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 going. Yes, I'll take a nap in the middle of the day and then get back up and she's ready to go again. I don't take a nap in the middle of the day. This is a joke. <laughs> yeah, but they'll think it. I do. I don't. Well, you should. I don't. You're old so enough. So, anyway, to get in on the drawing for just like you, little lamb, and the skin of yarn, you have to guess my age. Put it below. Cuts off the Thursday after my birthday. Get it, get it. I know it's Moose. He's getting loud. All right, we're off of here. See you next time. Sorry it was a day late, but don't forget to pass the word about the um, giveaway. Talk to you later. Bye. Peace out.